Hello, this is Vic. Thank you for uh, watching my channel and thank you for viewing my uh, videos. I'm in beautiful Bermuda. I'm in Hamilton, Bermuda. And uh, you know, uh, in order to prepare for my trip here to Bermuda, I had to read a couple of books. And uh, I read a book published in the year 2000. And it was, uh, there was an article in the book mentioning a, uh, a gentleman by the name of Johnny Barnes who uh, has the habit of uh, sitting at uh, one of the uh, busiest runabouts here in uh, Hamilton, Bermuda and saying hello to everybody as they pass by during our rush hour in the morning. Well, that was in the year 2000 and uh, I finally made it to Bermuda in 2014, 14 years later. Well, yesterday I was uh, driving around Bermuda, the weather was beautiful and I saw Mr. Barnes, incredibly enough, uh, sitting at the same roundabout say hello to everybody so I made a point to return today and to videotape him so you're gonna enjoy what's happening here it's really a very unique uh, truly magnificent experience to see him he is 91 years old and he's been doing this for decades so watch what's coming up I I'm sure it's gonna touch you in a very very special way this is Vic in Hamilton enjoy it So you can see how popular he is and how everybody knows him. Look at him. He's saying hello to everybody. And look how busy this intersection is. What he is doing, I don't know if the uh, camera can pick up the uh, what he's saying. He's uh, saying, I love you to everybody as, uh, as they are passing by. And of course, they are all local and they know him. Look at it. <laughs> I love you, he's saying. I love you, he's saying to everybody as they are passing by. Wow. Now, I was speaking to him before I started filming, and he will be 91 in a couple of months. 91 years old. And he's been sitting here for years, probably about 20 years. He said he's been saying hello to everybody for 70 years. Look at him. I love you, he said to everybody. I wish the camera could pick up the way he says I love you. This is an absolutely incredible experience. I love you, says to everybody. Look at him, he's giving them kisses. I mean, if anything speaks about the spirit of Bermuda, this is it. You're looking at it right now. It is a beautiful day. Thank God for it. <laughs> so how old are you going to be? 
June 23rd, I'll be 91. So you will be 91 on June the 23rd? Yes, and I'm only a little boy. <laughs> Were you born here in Bermuda? Yes, I was born here in Bermuda. <laughs> and for how long have you been saying hello to everybody? Everybody? have you been saying hello to everybody here for how long 70 years, 70 years. <laughs> now you were a bus driver right that's true, that's true. because that's what the book said when that I read that's right, that's right. <laughs> my guy what a personality I mean uh, he's joyful he's pleasant friendly look at this I love you, he's saying to everybody, I love you. Wow. <laughs> you know, the world is stopping for the one of love. And if people don't learn how to love one another, you are living one big happy family. So the world is dying for love, right? That's right. And, that's that's, and that is your message that you're giving to everybody here. That is your message, right? So what he's saying is the world is dying of love and if we had all had love it would be a completely different world and that's his message here that's in uh, why, that's why Jesus said love one another, love one another. Jesus said love one another, okay. Yes. No. If we love learn how to love one another, we love one big happy family. We will all be a happy family if we had love, that's true. The nation can't love one another because they're fighting. They're fighting. They can't they can't the home is the home is broken up, breaking up. The children are going haywire. The schools are out of town. You know that. Don't you? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So, if we learn how to love one another, one big happy, this would be a wonderful world. It, it would be a wonderful world if we loved each other. That's absolutely correct. So, Johnny, you've been honored by the Queen, right? Yes. I love you. I love you. I love you. So, what happened with the Queen? Yeah. She came here to yeah. see you? Where? Right down there, right down there. So the Queen came here to see Johnny, and what did she say to you? I pretended with one of my coaches. So you pretended you didn't know who she was? I knew who she was. Oh, you knew she was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you pretended like you didn't recognize her. Oh, I recognize her. And you said, I love you to her. I gave her one of my posters. Oh, you gave her one of your posters. Okay. But well, I'm going to give you. Okay, you're going to give me one. Thank you. Thank you very much. I said, darling, I love you. I love you too. So you said, darling, I love you. And she oh, yeah. said, I love you too. Of course. of course she knew who you were. Somebody must have told her. Yes, yes. In fact, I got a letter from the governor, from the governor office that asked me if I, if I would be down here to to meet the Queen. I, I met her. I was down in at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, so the governor asked you to be here so you can meet the Queen. Of course. Absolutely remarkable. Thank you, Johnny. So what he wants to do, he wants to uh, give me one of his posters. And uh, I would feel very privileged to get it and take it with me to England. Yay. Here's the poster. Thank you very much, Johnny. It's already signed. It's signed. Oh yes. And uh, if you frame it, you keep it. If you don't, you lose it. If you frame the poster, you keep it. Yes. But if you don't, you lose it. No, I will frame it. Yes. Exactly. I will frame it, and I will be honored to frame it. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to see the poster and a couple of uh, his pictures that you can see here. The poster is like this. Oh, the poster is like, and it's signed. Yes, I found it. Absolutely incredible. This is my <laughs> let me let me videotape that. It's uh, Mr. Johnny Barnes, The Spirit of Bermuda, P.O. Box 148 in Bermuda. <laughs> Thank you very much, Johnny. It's welcome. been an honor meeting you today and a great pleasure. Bye bye. All right, Johnny's gonna say a special prayer for us before I leave. Go ahead, Johnny. 
I do love being Father in heaven. We want to thank you for the last night. Allow us to lay down your beautiful arms and go to sleep. And our Father in heaven, you watched over us more than a mother watching her own baby. And then this morning, we woke it up to see another beautiful day. Thank you for the sunshine, the rain, the birds, and the flowers, and placing all these wonderful things in the world. This great, great, big, wonderful world that thou hast made. Oh Lord, help us that we might learn how to use it according to your divine will. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for keeping us. Help us that we might learn how to love one another so that we'll live together as one big happy family. That's what, that's what God wants us to do. The whole human family wants us to live in one big happy family. And if we learn how to love one another, what a beautiful world this would be. We want to thank you for the one that is taken, my friend. We come to people here for a little while. We are back here today. We pray that thou will bless him and his family. Keep them safe from harm and danger. Bless if you're one. Children, give them divine wisdom and understanding, boys and girls, in Jesus Christ. Now, loving Father in heaven, as we look around this world, we realize what a great, great, big, wonderful world this is. Help us that we might learn how to love one another, learn how to be kind, learn how to be sympathetic, learn how to be patient with one another, and learn how to be just like Jesus. For when Jesus does come in the clouds of heaven, Power and great glory, we can all go home together. One little blessing for us in Jesus. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you very much. <laughs> there you have it, Johnny. And uh, here's a statue of Johnny, which was uh, created in 1998. And it is uh, just around the corner from where he sits right now. Uh, you can see Johnny here, uh, much younger Johnny. And what it says here on the, uh, on the plaque that he has been honored by Queen Elizabeth II. I need to look into it. I didn't know that. He didn't tell me. And that he has been standing on that spot since 1983. That would be 31 years. Look at that. It's a beautiful statue. And uh, one uh, major detail that will make sense is that this road this is the entrance to Hamilton, the capital, and that's why the statue is right here. He's saying, welcome to everybody, and uh, I love you all. Look at it. Beautiful. Hello, this is Vic, and uh, I wanted to uh, say a couple more words before the end of this uh, documentary. And, uh, you know, you travel, or if one travels around the world, you get to uh, see beautiful places. But what's really more important in the places is the people that you meet. And even more important than that is the special people that you meet, that they carry uh, very special messages for you and your life. Well, Johnny here, uh, with whom I spent the last hour with uh, here in uh, Hamilton, in Bermuda, is really a very very special person i know the camera is not going to tell the whole story uh, it was very very loud around the intersection there's a lot of heavy traffic it was very hard to record his very soft uh, voice but i hope i can give you even a, a, a glimpse or even a, a very short taste of what happened here in bermuda this is a very famous person uh, I hope you heard that the Queen has uh, visited him when she came here to Bermuda. But more importantly, it was the message of love that he was uh, carrying. That's why he stands there. He, he's not getting paid uh, by doing all this. He just uh, stands there and he tells everybody how much uh, 
he loves everybody and uh, his message to me was that uh, without love there's nothing in the world well I'm quite shaken about this whole experience I'm very very pleased because I think this single hour here in Hamilton Bermuda really made a big difference in my visit not that I didn't like Bermuda I thought it was one and it is one of the most beautiful places on earth absolutely fascinating place but Johnny really was the uh, crown visit this is Vic I hope you enjoyed this absolutely spectacular documentary I know it's uh, difficult to uh, make out the uh, words and so on from all the noise and the wind but thank you for joining me now you know the sense of my channel bye bye hello again what I was thinking of doing now that I'm back in England is uh, to open the poster that Johnny gave me when I was uh, speaking to him a couple of days ago in Bermuda. I hadn't opened it yet, so you can see it right here. So let's open it together and see what it looks like. Now it is wrapped what it looks like a um, uh, newspaper. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open it now. And don't forget, this is the same poster that he gave the queen when she visited him in, uh, uh, at his bench at the roundabout in, in Bermuda. So what I'm doing right now, I'm opening the poster. I, know, I want to be careful, make sure I don't rip it. It is very uh, carefully wrapped. And uh, remember his advice was that uh, I need to frame it in order to keep it. If I don't frame it, I'm going to lose it. And he also said that it was signed, so let's see. Okay, I'm almost finished unwrapping it. And uh, here it is. You can see Johnny here in front of his statue that you saw in the documentary. And uh, it is signed right here in the corner. It says Johnny Barnes. So here it is. Beautiful poster. Testimony that I had met famous Johnny Barnes in Bermuda. I hope you have enjoyed the documentary. I am going to frame this poster, definitely. But I hope you have enjoyed the documentary uh, and also you have enjoyed the message that John is trying to give to the rest of the world. This is Vic. Thank you for joining me. Bye bye.